Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Weird West. And in the last episode, guys, Jane was riding north to Pigman's Polka to get her second bounty when she discovered the Bittergrass Temple, a formerly abandoned temple that had been taken over by a gang that uh, Jane dispatched, and we found a lot of loot inside the halls of this temple, including a box that we couldn't get into because we didn't have enough lockpicks. We headed back here down to Grackle to sell off all of our loot, and unfortunately, I was not able to find one. Um, however, I went ahead and used the treasure maps that we were able to find over our journey so far, and now we have two secret stash locations, and one of them is very close to Pigman's Polka. So I figure we're going to go ahead and ride up to this secret stash, see what it is, and then uh, just see what happens here, where we have to kill, capture or kill Marion Elderberry and retrieve the old diary. So let's see if anything random happens to us along the way. Nope. That's great. Well, we got music and we got baddies. Feeling watched. Day five. That is not human. Can we sneak up on whatever this is? Looks like a weird kind of satyr. Oh, it was a siren. Neat. I'll take that. This doesn't look like a place for treasure, though. Maybe we need to look around and... Nightstand. Got a mug. Shotgun shells. Hmm. Hmm. Feel like we were lied to. Got a bone. I guess we could look and see if there's any kind of places we can dig. Oh, there we go. Cool. Gold nugget, dollar coin, and a nymph head. And thank you for letting me got for letting me know in the comments, guys, that the uh, nymph heads are not actually something we need to keep. We can just sell them. And I guess that is the only thing that we can dig up here. We probably need to get out of here before uh, any more sirens decide to rear their ugly heads. That was pleasant. And let's do the other secret stash before we head to Pigman's Polka. Okay. Da oh, yeah. Dread Wraith. Can we not? Can we not? Got him. Whoo. So that was a zombie. And Wraith summoned zombies. Dreamers Vervain. Slender spikes of brilliant violet flowers seem to hum with supernatural light. You know... Monty? That... that wasn't smart. There. Copper bar. Ooh. Yes, please. So stay away from exploding another copper bar. Do we do we have to find another treasure stash here? Oh, yep, right here we'll do it. Quest completed. Occult satchel. Hard to say what creature the leather came from. Full of little 
Bottles of strange powders. Was it six demon bag? <laughs> that was called? Alright, that was terrifying. Let's never do that again. Oh, also, I went ahead and equipped some new stuff, by the way. On Monty. Uh, Monty is actually rocking out the sturdy bison hide vest and um, the spirit touch revolver. So we've got that shotgun out of the way. I think that's actually going to be a whole lot better for him. And you guys in the comments let me know that it's really good to um, start throwing all of our XP into buffing up our party members. So I am completely okay with that. Now, to Big Man's Polka. We dealt with werewolves previously. What do we got? So we got baddies right out the gate. Human skull, why not? No trespasser allowed. Dream slayers only. Ew. Dream slayers, eh? Well, here's the gun store. Three. Yeah, let's, let's close the door. We'll take the stealthy approach. That has served us very well. Deck of cards. A pair of salad tongs. Hello there, Nimbrelic. That gives us two. And now, charm is for eight seconds, enemies around you become your ally. That's going to be nifty, I'd say. We just need to remember to use it. So that is number three. And there's our lockpick. <laughs> well, you know, we may find something really cool here to use them on instead of going back to the temple. But we'll see. Nightstand. Arrows and shotgun shells. Looks like an evil monk. I think that's exactly what it is. Hello there. Let's drop you over here. Where hopefully they can find you. Appreciate you. That's that building clear. How many? Oh, that is a lot of dynamite. Hells, bells. This place looks a lot greener than Grackle. A nicer piece of real estate. Oh, there they are. Relayograph office kit. Or office key. That's cool, but... I don't know how that's going to help us exactly. Uh oh uh oh Uh-oh. No, uh oh Everything's fine. Everything's cool. Another treasure map. Yes, please. Scribblings reveal the location of a stash. Let's go ahead and quick save here, just to be on the safe side. Oh, crap, someone, he actually went in here and has not found the body yet. I guess that's good for us. I didn't see a path up to the roof. Uh oh. Yep, that's a shame. Go ahead and join. Just have a nice little rest here on the bed.
my goal is to put fear into these gangs by, and I know it's not how the game works, but this is the kind of canon I'm putting in my head, that um, we kill the leaders. I know we get more money for bringing them back alive. That was confirmed in the comments. Thank you. But, um, oh, hello there, dear. Yeah, this is a much nicer place than Grackle. I guess that's why a gang decided to take it over and stick around. Oh, More baddies. One decided to just hang out on the porch, huh? Oh, you're gonna find everybody? Well, maybe not. Hold on. I can't believe they didn't look behind the counter. I mean, I'm completely okay with that. So these guys are essentially mages by the look of them. Akiba! So far so good. Yeah, see we even got a... Oh! Oh boy! Okay. Do I have my dynamite? Do you have escorts, though, is the question. Yes, you do. Let's wait for everybody to get in formation. We killed them all! <laughs> Good old dynamite. <laughs> the buzzards are like, mmm, gonna be good eating tonight. No, you guys are fine. You're unemployed, technically. Your cult leader is now in pieces. That doesn't seem to bug them all that much. Okay. I mean, I'm not mad at it. Quick iron, ceremonial cup. Yeah, they're just like, quick! Another treasure map. Where'd their body fling to? Oh. Nothing to see here. Claim your bounty from the sheriff. You don't have to take their head or anything like that. Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Guys are in trouble now, aren't you? Are there only three left? I am completely all right with that. You just be a ghost. You know, like their leaders just start exploding. <laughs> or dying via mysterious circumstances. And then they're never able to find out a cause. The next person in line may hesitate a bit before grabbing the reins of power. Well, that was the doctor's office. That's more than a good start there, Monty. That is good business. The music, like, if you take away the kind of western ambiance to it, it reminds me a lot of uh, Gloomhaven. Which has some incredible music. Okay, reinforced door. Everything looks good so far. What was over here? Lots of money. Schoolhouse. I mean, this has already been a a success, and so far a whole lot better than uh, what happened at the Hacienda.
Now are you guys, what are you all going to do here? Stellar. Quick, into the doctor's office. Sometimes I'm going to have to be very careful. I'm really glad Monty has his cloaking device. And too late for you, friend. Okay. I am going to assume that the city is more or less clean. As clean as it could be. Yeah, this is like a much larger town than Grackle. Just nicer. Oh, look at all the pieces of meat. So, maybe that the town has been... Oh, we have mail. I'm sorry, Lottie's gone. Oh, already read that. What have we got here? Shotgun shells. Oh, it's the jail. Okay. That is a piece of meat. Hmm. Sheriff's office key and some whiskey. Another nymph relic. Outstanding. But now everything else needs two. Well, no. I guess we could go ahead and get bow abilities out of the way. And melee. There we go. Why may people... Oh, I see ya. Hi there, Golden Ace. And I'll tell you what. Um, you guys told me that Posse Leader is where it's at. So... What does that do? Boost Posse members' damage output and maximum hit points by 15%. The next level by 40. I mean, it's always great if you don't have to shoot as much because the rest of your team is. I am a fan. So is that what we needed the, the office key for? Oh, there was a side entrance. Okay. Doctor's office, sheriff's office is done. Let's try and make this as thorough as possible, you know? Whoa! Oh, can we randomly get struck by lightning? Because that would... Another golden ace of spades! We need three for that. Um... You know, let's do locksmith. Because we were having a problem with the lockpicks earlier. That should make us in much better shape. The Quill and Medley Quarterly Catalog, issue number 41. Lot number 004. A pistol for the working man. Far more accurate than a sharpst. For days out in the field, when you must be able to rely on the weapon at your side. Treated to prevent rust. Guaranteed! Why buy a lesser manufacturer's wares when you could own a Quill and Medley? Dagger and Bone Key. Ooh, what is a Dagger and Bone Key? I'm definitely I'm I'm definitely interested. My interest is peaked. Spoo! No, inventory is full. Well, I was wonder I was waiting on that. Can't even get a spur. Find old diary. Oh! Cool! Scrabbled hand or scrabbled handwriting, curious stains, and salacious details. I like it. Can we read some of those details? Copious details. No, we can't. We'll go ahead and use that treasure map, though. We 
Yo, cool. Hello there. Random shelter. Copper bar. Last time we found one of these things, we found like one of those really awesome chests. It doesn't look like we have anything here though, just a bunch of cobwebs. Yeah, let's let's not deal with that. <laughs> if at all possible. Not a big fan of spiders. I'm not arachnophobic by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just I don't mind spiders I can see. If I know where they are. I'm absolutely fine. It's when I can't see them and they decide to make their presence known. There you go. That um, I tend to take umbrage. This all stemmed from an incident when I was younger. When, um, drink a little bit of water there. I was taking a shower and looked up the exact moment that a spider was coming down and it landed on my face. And needless to say, I didn't take it well. I actually turned into a kung fu master for about five seconds. And <laughs> I don't know what happened to the spider. I don't even know if I, I did not confirm the kill. But yeah, ever since then, spiders is just not something I want to. I, I, I care for. I remember there was um, a book called Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark that you could buy at like the kids' book fair. Because back when I was a kid, they didn't mind if, you know, kids got scared. <laughs> but there was a, um, a story about a girl who had, like, a blemish on her face. And it ended up being, like, a spider nest or a spider egg that, like, opened up and tons of spiders just spilled out of her face. I'm just like, oh, that's, that's lovely. It's quite pleasant. Oh, the Undertaker shop. Anything cool here? Nails. More nails. Another bandana. Yeah, they basically just killed everyone, ran everyone off, and then just started putting sleeping bags down where they wished. What is... Hmm. Hmm. Graveyard. Oh. Okay. Thank you. We will we will make a stop at the graveyard before we head out. The general store. Very general. Oh man, we are cleaning up on these. Demolition. I mean, considering the fact that we've been using that, I think that's probably very useful. Some more oomph with our dynamite. Holy crap. General store key, which we didn't need. And heart finder. We haven't used bow and arrow yet, but I don't think that's going to be Jane's specialty. I think that's going to be another character. Come in here for a quiet drink. Cash register is locked. But... Ah, was that worth... Was that worth the six dollars, wretch? The answer to that is a strong... No. Alright, let's check all the rooms here. That one's clear. That one's clear. What's in the box? Seven dollars. Empty, empty, empty. Nothing out on the balcony. All the saloons have like the similar floor plan. Gazette. Oh, this is a nice place to hang out though.
dollar coins. Just hang out on the roof. Enjoy yourself. That also gives me a good idea to kind of get a bird's eye view of everything. So we got rock formations over there. I think we've searched all of the all of the buildings. Except for the graveyard. So let's do that. Because that was safe. Cursed statue. <laughs> Oh, by the spirit, somebody actually came? I can't believe it. You're real, right? Sorry, I've been losing my mind since I've been stuck down here. I don't even know how long it's been anymore. If I could, I'd cry. Please, stranger, you gotta help me. You must be wondering what I'm doing here. You see, ages ago I ran afoul of a... Onerist. I forgot, I don't know how that's pronounced. Guess she took offense to me because she trapped me in here. You gotta help me break this curse. I'll owe you one, please. Ask for more information. All right, maybe I, maybe I said a few choice words to the lady before she cursed me, but come on, no one deserves to be trapped like this for eternity. Sure. Oh, bless you, bless you. I shower praises upon your head. All you gotta do is find another onerous who can undo the curse and I'm free. Come on, partner, it's us against the world. Take the weird statuette with you. Alrighty. Used candle. This was a good idea. Okay, let's 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 look at our uh, objectives here. You can't track more than five. Find an onerous who can break the statue's curse. But we killed all of them here. I guess we'll have to keep them on the books for a little bit. Can we wake one of them up? Like, excuse me. Need your help here. Oh well. Bounty has been claimed. And we need to go ahead and sell our stuff. We still have 12 days to capture or kill Ryan Mitchell. Probably kill. So let's head back to Calamity here and see what's what. I'm glad we uh, went and checked that. And what do we got? Secret stash. Another secret stash. Alright. Wait, can I check my my inventory here? I don't think I can. Wait. How many lockpicks do we have? Do we have any? Or did we use them all? Uh, I think I might have used it. Yeah, I did. Well, that is unfortunate, but... You know, these things happen. Back to Grackle. We have lots of things to do. A witch at the crossroads. A strange woman waits for you as if she always knew you'd come. Sure. Poison clouds are highly flammable. This seems safe. Here I am trying to attract your attention. Oh, that's a fresh face. Looks good on you. Howdy. Jane Bell, is it? <laughs> Look at that. Guns on your hips, ten-gallon hat. Convincing. And who are you? The bounty hunter, looking for answers. Very in character. Love it. Now, I've got to say, you look distressed. Have you lost something, perchance? Oh... Alrighty. Ah, yes, the missing husband. Now that's cause to feel distraught indeed. A real tragedy, if I do say so myself. Speaking of human dramas, I'd love to know what makes you tick. Let's imagine a hypothetical. Picture this. You come face to face with a woman who's done you wrong. 
And I mean very, very wrong. Life-crushing wrong. You've been searching for this woman for days, weeks, months. Then you find her. You're all set to take your revenge, but before you do, you learn the truth. She had a good reason to do you wrong. You were cruel, punishing. Truth is, you deserved what she did to you. So here's the question. This woman wronged you terribly, but you deserved it. Now you found her. What do you do? I wonder if this is a woman from Jane's past. Well, if you know that you were horrible and you're trying to do better, ask for forgiveness for past cruelty. Forgiveness, eh? Not what I expected. Well, my curiosity is satisfied. I'm going to let you go now, but before I do, take this. It's a box, but not just any box. Keep watch over it for me. Later on down the line, I'll ask for it back. In the meantime, keep it closed. This is all I ask. This is where we part ways, Jane Bell. Remember, no matter what, do not open that box. Farewell now. We'll see each other again soon enough. Well, that wasn't cryptic at all. Why is the ornamented chest empty? Alright. I bet if we had said take revenge, she would have like put a curse on us or we would have to uh, fight her. That's kind of how these things go. Alright, back to the lovely town of Grackle. We saw a river and green... Now we're back in the desert, so just like real life. All right, guys. Well, we will go ahead and end the episode here. When we get back, we'll go claim our bounty, hand off the old diary, and kind of see where we go. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. I will see you next time. Later days, everyone.